Okay, so you'll notice here that I have this notation, and I've just highlighted it. Here's our triangle. We want to find, if you look at the problem, using trig ratios, set up an equation, and solve for the missing angles to the nearest degree. So we're going to solve for the missing angles. Well, I have one angle here, which is 90 degrees, and I have two unknown angles. So I can't use the idea that there's 180 degrees in a triangle. Let's subtract, add the two angles, subtract from 180 because I have two missing pieces. So knowing that I have some sides, I could use right triangle trig to find the missing information. So uh, perspective of Y. So notice that I have angle Y listed in parentheses here. I have the opposite side and I have the hypotenuse. Well, opposite and hypotenuse is sine. Well, because I have the sides, if I use the inverse function, it's going to give me my angle measurement. Okay. So down here it says, remember, if you want the angle, then you use the inverse. Okay, Page 832 in your book's got some uh, good examples and some good help um, on, on how to do this. And I just will, I'll do the screencast where I'm drawn on the board, but I wanted to show you how to do this on the calculator also. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and just take sine inverse. Okay, well, sine inverse is above the little sine button right here. So sine inverse, sine in the negative one. So I hit second, sine inverse. That didn't come out right. Second, sine inverse. There we go. I got the little negative one there. And I'm going to put in my ratio. 8.5 divided by 16.7. Make sure that your mode is in degrees. So if we look real quick, my mode's in degrees. I can do second quit to get out of there, and I hit enter. We're going to round to the nearest degree, so that would be 31 degrees. And that's how I can find um, the angle measurement given two sides. Okay? And you'll notice here, and we'll do this on, on the um, screencast, but x can be found by using which function? And hopefully you're saying to yourself, well, that's adjacent, that's hypotenuse, so you can use cosine. So we could do that right on the calculator, um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it to you guys to get that taken care of, and then the next video we'll just kind of run through this real quick so I can write everything down, because I know some of you like to see it written down.